Hello people, on this video I'm going to talk about the differences between Node.js and Django and when to choose one or the other, just my opinion. Hello. So many people ask me which one should I choose, should I go for Node.js because it's JavaScript and it's kind of moving fast and everything or should I go with uh, Django which is Python and the community is kind of solid and there is a lot of stuff uh, coming with Python already for free. Um, so which one should I choose? Uh, my answer is always it depends. So it depends what you're building. Uh, and there is this thing called, it's called CRUD, C-R-U-D. That means create, read, update, delete. For example, Instagram is a CRUD. You update photos, you read them. This means you look at them, you update them, you make a comments, you create the comments or you delete them. That is a CRUD. And I think that Django is the best uh, option when you're gonna make a CRUD. If you're making something like a blog, if you're making something like an Instagram, if you're making something even like YouTube, I will do something like a uh, Python and Django kind of thing. Why? Because it already has everything you need for a CRUD. It has the users, it has the authentication, it has the views, it has the templates, it has the URLs, it has the static files, uploads, models, databases, everything super fast so you can make a CRUD. Um, on the other hand, if you are not looking to make a CRUD or your CRUD is a little bit more complex, for example, if you're gonna make something like Uber where you don't only need to create update delete but also you need to send updates when you need to do stuff real time, when you need to communicate with many different APIs and these APIs are made in JavaScript, maybe then the best option will be to go for something like Node.js. For example, companies like Netflix use Node.js a lot on their backend because they're, they're not doing a lot of CRUD, they're doing more of a streaming service. So yeah, that is my answer. If you're gonna make a CRUD, then make something with Python Django. I think it's the best option. Nobody gives a shit about Ruby anymore, finally. And if you are gonna do something like more real time with more APIs, with more stuff, I would recommend Node.js, that's it. I just feel more comfortable with Node.js uh, when I'm making something very custom, all right? This is the thing, the Django is like, um, uh, like a big box. It, uh, it has everything inside that you need. It has the models, it has the authentication, everything that I named. And basically on your projects, what you will end up doing is just taking them out and only leaving what you're gonna use. Uh, Node.js, on the other hand, is nothing. So you need to start putting the Legos. It's like a Lego uh, building, all right? You need to put small parts, but it starts with nothing. Ahmed. Guys, why don't you leave here? How do you think, how, how much is, is guys, okay. here. like three billion? I'm not coming back if you guys don't leave here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you agree. Uh, put it on the comments if you disagree, why you disagree and why you really love Node.js and for everything and why you really love Python for everything. And if you think that I should have included Ruby or PHP, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and that's me for now. Leave a like, leave a kiss, leave a comment. See ya.